Okay, so we're gonna do some light texturing on the smoke make on it. Take our chisel. So that's our chisel face. So do that as long as you want. some light sanding, you can see some variation in the patterning. We're going to hit the rest with the angle grinder. So that's what we've got. And the pattern shows up pretty good, but it's not as obvious when it's not smooth. So we're going to run this through the rolling mill. I'm not too worried about these divots. Those will smooth out and give different patterns. But uh, once we get to the rolling mill, you'll get to see what happens. Okay, so right now our gauge is about 18 gauge after sanding the surface flat. We're going to just run it through the rolling mill. Tighten as we go. So generally it's a good idea to take your trim stock, just a small section, and then run it as hard as you can to figure out what it can tolerate. And then take samples from your trim stock and then cut them out and forge them to your pre-shape. That'll give you a sense of what your billet can survive in terms of process. So this is forged down to, or roll milled down to about 20 gauge, and then to the point where it fractured to see what work hardening would look like and then samples were made from polymers component parts.